Welcome, everyone, from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a treatise on Christian perfection by Saint Gregory of Nyssa. Bishop The Christian is another Christ. Paul teaches us the power of Christ's name when he calls him the power and wisdom of God. Our peace the unapproachable light where God dwells, our expiation and redemption, our great high priest, our paschal sacrifice, our propitiation, when he declares him to be the radiance of God's glory, the very pattern of his nature. the creator of all ages. Our spiritual food and drink. The rock and the water. The bedrock of our faith, the cornerstone, the visible image of the invisible God, he goes on to speak of him as the mighty God, the head of his body, the church, the firstborn of the new creation, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The firstborn of the dead. The eldest of many brothers. 
he tells us that Christ is the mediator between God and man. The only begotten Son, crowned with glory and honor. The Lord of glory. The beginning of all things. The King of justice and of peace. The King of the whole universe. Ruling a realm that has no limits. Paul calls Christ by many other titles too numerous to recall here. Their cumulative force will give some conception of the marvelous content of the name Christ. Revealing to us his inexpressible majesty. In so far as our minds and thoughts can comprehend it. Since by the goodness of God, we who are called Christians have been granted the honor of sharing this name, the greatest, the highest, the most sublime of all names. It follows that each of the titles that express its meaning should be clearly reflected in us. If we are not to lie when we call ourselves Christians, we must bear witness to it by our way of living. From the Desert With Desert Faith This message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence, all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. En nomen i Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.